Hi fellow Etsy sellers, this is Melissa Kaiserman with MakerySpace.com and for today's Etsy Ed quick tip, I want to talk a little bit more about Hive. I shared how to bulk edit categories last week and I want to share another one of my favorite features today. So just a reminder, the website is MyHiveOnline.com. So when you go, just sign in. And this ties in with the video I did about creating short links for internal linking in your listings so that your listings aren't so cluttered and they're, uh, they look a lot better on mobile because they don't take up so many lines. You may find that um, from time to time that there's ones that you missed, especially if you renew an older listing or that kind of thing, you may have forgotten to put those short links in. So this is a really nice way to take care of that all at once. When your active listings are up, go ahead and select all of them and click edit. We'll be editing our descriptions. So choose description on the left and for select action, find and replace. So at this point, what we're going to be doing is finding the link that's a long link that we want to replace and putting in our short link. So for example, if I go over to this listing in my shop, it's possible that I had used this entire thing. Um, most likely I didn't because I've always cut it off shorter than that, like either this part here, um, you know, taking that part off or even taken this entire part off and just had through the listing number. But whatever you know you were using for a longer link to internally link in your listings, go ahead and copy that. In this case, I'm going to be doing my fabric gallery link because I know there were a lot of times early on that I was linking this entire Flickr URL. So I'm going to copy that and I want to replace it with my bit.ly link. So I'll go back over to Hive and I'm going to put that link under find, that URL under find. And then for replace, I'll go over to my Bitly account. And here's my Fabric Options short link. And I'll copy that. And then back over in Hive, I will put that in the replace field. So every time Hive finds this long URL in one of my listings that's active, it will replace it with this shorter one. Now the way that you will know that this find and replace is going to apply to any of your listings is there will be a button on the right that says apply. If this is not here, that means you actually don't have this longer URL in any of your listings. So that'll be kind of reassuring that you've covered them all. So I'm going to click apply. It will apply it to any listings that had the long one and then up on the right, I will click sync updates. And then when I go back to my Etsy shop, shop I will see that the long URLs were replaced with the shortened ones. I hope that's a helpful tip for you. Have a great week.